It's Pete Burns, PA, and they've got their work cut out. Previously on Pete's PA. Natalie and Nikki went head to head when Pete set them a final challenge to plan his charity stag party. I don't I am quite worried actually. I'm not excited at all. I lied, I lied. <laughs> While Natalie felt the pressure. I can't even speak at the moment. I'm so annoyed. I'm really annoyed. I just think I'm going to get up there and just burst into fits of tears. I won't be able to speak. Nikki had problems of her own. Oh, OK. That's a shame. It's very deflating when you, you get a knockback. But in the end, both parties were a success. <laughs> and at the final elimination, Nikki was told she would be Pete's PA. And now the real hard work is about to begin. Ten weeks ago, ten candidates were chosen to battle it out in an attempt to become Pete Burns' PA. You know, doing this show, it's been a lot tougher than I expected it to be. I didn't expect to become so personally involved. Fucking mortified. And if I'd have said what I thought, they wouldn't even be standing here. They'd have turned to ash. What are you talking about, you stupid? I'm going to be rude again. No, don't be rude Fuck stupid. off. You've no. got to grow yourself a big pair of balls. We thought we'd go home you know, go to sleep and then just get on with the next day and it would be really easy, but it's ended up just bit, we've both become emotional wrecks. This is not an act, I'm pissed off rotten. It's about taking each other out. Get rid of the old fucking bitches, send them right out the fucking door. Goodbye. Well, there's any room for one big old bitch in this and that's me. Evictions for Pete, really bad, lots of tears. It's killing me, it really is. Don't cry, don't cry, make me cry. <laughs> oh, you're crying? I always work hard and put 100% in everything. I miss my dog a lot. That's killing me, Susan, the poor girl. Now, I feel very positive and strong about it. I know I've got the best of the bunch. I've got a, a real hot bitch of a PA and I made the right decision. Nikki. Well done, hun. <laughs> now that Nikki's got the job, she thinks she's home and dry, but she's not. She's got to do Michael and my wedding in such a short space of time. I want it to be fantastic. I am sure that she will make it fantastic. But if she doesn't... It's the morning after Nikki was announced as Pete's PA. And there's the small matter of Pete and Michael's wedding to arrange in just four days' time. The happy couple have ideas of their own but it's up to Nikki to pull everything together from her hotel in central London. First day of being Pete's PA, absolutely no rest. I met with Pete and we got straight into the discussions about what he wanted for the wedding. Congratulations. Thank you. How, how do you feel? I, f I feel really, really good. Uh, I got up this morning, I'd had a great night's sleep. The big challenge really begins now. That's organising my wedding. Yeah, yeah. If I thought the other tasks were difficult in short time, then this is a... But surely this is going to be a bit of fun. Oh, God, absolutely. You know, I mean, I'm really... I'm, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. That's what I like to hear, because I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the worrying. So the wedding, what are we going to do, hon? Right, well, if we start right at the very beginning, the ceremony itself takes place at... 3.30, that's right, yeah? Mm. And no offence to you on this one, Pete, but, but you don't always run to time. <laughs> no, I don't have a clock. So, I swear to God, I don't have a clock. So I'm going to have to make sure that we do actually get you down there on time. Seating plan. Oh, you know what? That's an area I haven't even thought of. Michael's got a... He, he's, like, going bald at the idea of the seating plan. His hair's falling out over it. And uh, one thing was suggested, just let them all look after themselves. Ah! No, because in this thing, you forget about yourself. Mm. We've been so worried mm. about everybody else. We need some guidance here. We keep changing our mind, and there's other people's opinions coming in, and we, we've actually got to make a decision. Well, let me go down and see what's available. <laughs> right. What can I say? Well, if, if, you're <laughs> really, if you're really open to suggestions, then I'll come Absolutely. up with, with the number of suggestions, and you just pick which one you want, then. Very, very open to suggestions. OK, fine. Because this is, you know, starting to really take its toll on Michael and me as well. Mm. The stress levels are going through the roof, and he deals with stress differently mm. than I do, mm. and it's not a great situation over this right now. Planning a wedding is extremely difficult. I was really pleased to be like getting on with the job but then there was like a, a kind of overhanging thought of like oh my god 
How on earth am I going to plan this wedding in four days? Do you have any idea on a theme that you want? The theme of the room is kind of based on Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I've great. given Michael free reign there because for a crucifix he's crazy. It's got pink neon lights, pink neon crucifixes, pink this, pink that, pink the other. Right, that's really the kind of list that I've come up with in a minute. Is there anything you could think you want to add to that? Well, you know, this isn't my idea, it's Michael's idea, and it's a crucifix-shaped cake. What about if we, we source a couple of cakes? I think that's the safest way to go, yeah, source a couple of things. And you're really not bothered again. Is there a colour? I'm not your nightmare, hon. Yeah, He's Michael, the one with wow. the attention to detail. It's a Libran thing, allegedly. When I was talking to Pete, he just kept saying about Michael and the whole wedding, and he never mentioned himself, and I had to keep saying to him, Pete, this is your day. You've got to realise. You've got to enjoy this. And hopefully, at the end of the, what I'd said to him, he did start saying about himself. So... Hopefully he's taken that on board. It is my wedding too, and I know, but I've been really busy and it's happened so fast and I still haven't had any time to actually think about what I would actually want. And I'm really grateful that other people are making decisions on my behalf so far, but now I'm starting to actually think a little bit here. And that's the first time you've mm. said it's my wedding too, and well, I'm so Well, it is, so and glad. I forgot that. I forgot yeah. that. You know, you do you get caught up in the excitement of it all and you just yeah. go along. Right, last thing that I can think of then is your clothing. I'm wearing like a, a really antique Japanese wedding kimono, which is really not for a man to wear, but hey, when's that ever stopped me before? <laughs> Obviously, I want to get changed mm -hmm. for the after party thing mm -hmm. and I've got an okay kind of spectacular waistcoat by Vivian Westwood and it's like hot pink kind of velvet but I've got no trousers to go with it. I'll need a pair of really tight high-waisted pink velvet trousers made. Okay I'm, I'm gonna look into that for you. And you'll tread on some toes here but that's the job isn't it? Well I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to tread on people's toes because I'm working for you Pete. Yeah but you have to tread on those toes very very firmly and it might get very sticky for you. This is where this is where I'm actually worried because you're really really in the deep end now. I was so chuffed that Pete was so positive about me winning um, and that he wanted me to be involved in his wedding. It's a huge responsibility and I felt quite honoured. Her energy levels are going to have to be invincible. Her patience is going to have to be that of a saint. She's just got to be absolutely amazing and also use a lot of initiative as well because there's going to be a lot of times when Michael and myself were not available to consult on these things. So she's got to be able to make a decision and know it's the right one. Well, it's going to sound weird, but it's, it's, a, it's a kind of lady size 10. Don't know what they're like at mm, all. No, but they, I know, I know, and I'm desperate to see them, really. Mm. If I can't get through to Pete, I can't confirm anything, I can't arrange anything. I ain't getting dug in the dirt to organise no wedding. It's day two, and first on her agenda, Nikki's about to meet with Pete's ex-wife, Lynn, to discuss Pete's fashion requirements. I'm hoping with all Lynn's knowledge that she's got over the 26 years she's been with Pete that she's going to be a really good sounding board. Congratulations, Nick. It's Thanks. great having you on board. Thank and you. You've really got your work cut out for you. The next yeah. yeah. Thanks for that. The trousers that you're going to have made, I've brought the waistcoat. Wow, that's pink. So, isn't it? <laughs> Hot pink. Um, yeah, so as close to this as you can possibly get. Right. The style he wants them is um, very narrow high-waisted, above the ankle, um, right. with a zip front. Yeah, like a matador trousers you said yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. very much. Have you ever, like... <laughs> I'm going in the gossip here. <laughs> Have you ever, um, like, had a time when Pete's lost his rag so much oh that God, you wanted yeah. to just leave? Yeah, there have been a few times. No, I've got to have the right outfit. It's got to look right. So what's kept you from coming back? Well, I, I understand that it's because he's nervous right. and he's stressed out. <laughs> what the flying fuck is this? Come on, Lynn. Ow, ow, sorry, ow, sorry. ow. You just have to put it down to his nerves, really, and not take it personally and just kind of just focus on what you've got to do. So on the wedding day, obviously, everyone's going to be staring at him. Sure. Is he going to handle that? Yeah, he's used to it. OK. He's very used to it. He doesn't particularly notice it right. a lot of the time. Okay. Although this is his wedding, so he's going to have that wedding jitters as well. But when I spoke to him earlier, you know, when we first started talking, first of all, it was about, you know, oh, I don't know what I want to plan, and, you know, mm. Michael's got all these ideas. And, mm. you know, I had to say, look, this is your wedding too. Uh, Michael will have a different set of problems mm. to Pete. You know, his, he pays attention to detail. 
he's been the one that's planned the look of the ceremony, you know, the, the venue, mm. you know, the colours. Pete's dealing with Pete, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah I can see that. He's not as difficult.